Welcome to a demo of the Gridly plugin for Unity. If you're looking for an easy way to manage the localization of the text in your game, app, or whatever digital experience you're creating in Unity, then this demo is the right one for you. We'll start with how easy it is to install the plugin and set it up. Then we'll continue with its core feature, the string editor, that helps you to gather your string data in one place where you can easily manage them. Then we'll demonstrate how another key feature, the translator component, enables you to use text from Gridly directly in the elements you're creating in Unity. And finally, we'll touch on how you can leverage the data sync component to automatically retrieve translations from Gridly when you start your project. So here we have our fast lane grid, and this contains all the game strings for that particular title. Over here on the left hand side, we have the record ID, and this will be used to communicate effectively with Unity. Then we have our source language here, and then the target languages to the right. Here we have our dependencies, and you can see here that the dependencies are set up between English and all the target languages. This allows the efficient tracking of all the statuses between each of those. Then we have our Unity Fastlane view. You can, of course, use different views. These different views are used to filter the content in Gridly so that you only push or pull what you want to Unity. And here we have our open source plugin. It's here on a GitHub repo, and documentation can be found here. Here we have our example here, which is what we'll be using today. So first things first, let's click on code here and then download the zip. Once that zip's downloaded, we just track that down and simply drag and drop that into Unity within assets here. Then we click on import. We have the plugin installed. Now let's see how to set it up to make it work. Right, so what we do here is we go over to Tools, Gridly, Setup Setting here. And here's where we set up the communication between Gridly and Unity. So we need to add an API key here and then a view here. Now we have a couple of redundant views here, so we're just gonna get rid of these and set up our own one. So back over to Gridly. And then again, using our Unity Fastlane, this is the particular view we're gonna use. Over on the right-hand side here, we have API Quick Start. So we select that, and here we have our API key, which we will then copy, then back over to Unity, and then paste that in here. Then we want to set up our view IDs at this point. So we go back over to Gridly, copy the view ID, back over to Unity, then create a name for this, which we'll call Fastlane. And then paste our view ID here. We can of course create other views if you wish. And again, you just add the name and the view ID for each of these, but we don't need to do that for this one. So we'll just get rid of those. Now let's set up the languages we have in our view in Gridly to enable us to pull them to Unity. So at this point here, we can see all the languages here. We have Vietnamese here, which we don't need, so we'll get rid of that. And then we'll set up some more languages. So we'll add Italian and a bunch of others. Okay, so they're all set up here, as we would expect. Okay, so that's exactly how we want it. So now we can close that. Now this is very important here. So we go to format column within Gridly and this column ID here needs to be exactly the same as what you're inputting into the setup within Unity. So it's very important that each of these is checked to ensure that it's exactly set up the way it should be. So that's the French and that looks good too. Okay, so we go back into Gridly setup here, make sure we're happy with everything and then click on import all at the bottom here. So this takes all of the strings from Gridly and pulls them into Unity. String Editor is the place in Unity where we can manage all the imported texts, their language versions, and easily exchange them with Gridly. Let's see how this works. So here we go up to Tools, and then we go to the Editor here. And you can see all the strings here have been pulled into Unity as one would expect. So we'll select this one here, and we can see we've got our target languages as well. So I'm just gonna scroll up here, select Acceleration here, and I'm going to actually introduce a change here. I shall add the text, change, and then export. So 
switch back over to Gridly and we can see the change is now here as one would expect and you can see the dependencies have now affected each of the target languages and set those as out of date. So the changes can be made directly within this view or a translated view, totally up to you. So what I'm going to do here is select the French here, add some text, a change here, that's now set as up to date and we'll do the same with the other languages as well. Here's the Italian, same with the German and the Spanish. Now switching back over to Unity, we can import all of those again. And you can see here, all the changes have taken place as expected. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change this again. Click on export. And that's now pushed back into Gridly. And we can see that here. And again, language is set as out of date. So close that. Now, if we move down here, we can see example down here. And this example script here is what we're gonna be showing you today. So we'll select that. This is a scene consisting of a couple of buttons, previous and next, configured to switch between previous and next language versions when clicked. Part of the plugin is also a component called Translator, which enables the assignment of strings to UI elements in Unity. We don't have a string for the previous button, so I'll demonstrate how you can create a new string right in Unity and assign it to the button. So here we go to Tools, Gridly, String Editor, and we can see all our strings here. Wonderful. So we need to create a string for that particular instance. So we'll create str underscore prev and create a record for that. You can use the created record not just for assigning to UI elements, you also get the record string data that you'll need as you write your code. We'll add some source text here, previous, and export that. Now, if we search for this particular string within Gridly, here it is. And you can see that the TM has actually populated all the translations as well, so that's great. So we can select that, hold down Shift, select the last one, right click, and approve that TM text. So now we're going to import all again, as we did before. And then we can see the text is all there and the translations. All right, get rid of that. So now we're going to search for a particular string here. And then assign. And we'll do the same with one of the other buttons there, the right hand button. And we'll say it's next. And the same with the main text that will appear in the middle of the screen. Select that one. And then we'll run the program. And you can see here, these are all updated now within our little program here. And if we click on each of these buttons, you'll see that then refreshes the language and previous as well. Okay, we'll stop that for now. And what we're going to do here is we're going to change the source text here, add some exclamations and export that. So if we go back into Gridly again, we look up that particular string and we can see here that the exclamation marks have been added here within Gridly. And then if we run that again, and then we use our button here to move through, you can see here this has been updated within the code as well. So that was how we can add text from Gridly to our elements in Unity. Now let's take a look at how we can automate the whole process without the need to manually import new strings from Gridly. Here's where the data sync component comes into play. Okay, so what we can do here is add a component. And we're gonna add this component here called Sync Data Gridly. And then we make sure that this is on runtime only. Great. Then back into Gridly. Okay, now let's make a text change in Gridly. This will show how the sync data component pulls the updated data automatically straight into our Unity project when I run it. This is due to the plugin setting being set to runtime only. Then back in Unity, we'll run the program again. Here we have it. 
If we click on these buttons, we can see that the buttons themselves have been updated with the updated text. OK, so you've learned how easy it is to install and set up the open source plugin for Unity and what the core features are, such as the string editor or translator component. That'll help you with the localization of your text. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't done it yet, sign up for Gridly. It's free. Check out the plugin on GitHub and feel free to reach out to us if needed.